Hey, 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 what is up? I'm your host, Easy, the Crochet Lady, and thank you so much for stopping by today. Hey, if you're new, welcome, and thanks for coming on over. So I can tell by the comments that you guys kind of miss looking at me. You want to look into my eyes, and you want to hear my voice, and I totally dig that. I am super grateful that you guys like me, because I like you too. But, you know, I just can't be in every video, but I can try to be in more videos, if that's what you guys really want. Also, I see that you really enjoy the corner to corner Tunisian crochet. And I have so many patterns lined up, you guys. I can't wait to share them with you. Just remember, you saw it here first on the Crochet Lady. Okay, so I will chit chat with you guys in the really, really near future. Okay, things are changing. Love ya. Okay, let's start off with a chain of two. We're going to single crochet in the back half of the first chain here. Next, we're going to make our increase. On the right side, and then we're going to do the left side increase. So underneath. Okay, you got four loops on your hook, and we're just going to do a normal close, so chain one. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two to the end of the, each row. Okay, so we're going to do our right side increase again. So insert your hook underneath your, your second bar there. You've got your, your front first one and the one right next to it. So insert your hook right in there, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch. And the first break it up. Oops. Let's do that. Then we're going to do a purl stitch in the second vertical bar. So with the yarn in front, insert your hook underneath the vertical bar. With your thumb, apply a tiny bit of pressure, yarn over, just like this, and pull through. And your purl is made. Now let's do the left side increase. So insert your hook underneath the front end loop, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Then go ahead and insert your hook underneath both end loops. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then proceed with your normal close. Okay. So we're going to do the increase on the right side. And we're going to just do one row repeat. So, Tunisian single stitch, and then purl stitch, Tunisian single stitch, Tunisian purl stitch. Left side increase, insert your hook underneath the front end loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, then insert your hook underneath both end loops, yarn over and pull up. Okay, proceed with your normal close. I'll see you right over here and we'll start this row and I'm going to turn you guys loose. Alright, so we are back to starting another row. So we're going to make our right side increase simple stitch, purl stitch, 
circle stitch, purl stitch, okay? And just keep on repeating this until your item reaches the size that you want. Okay, I'm gonna check in with you guys in just a few rows so we can see what our progress looks like. I'm going to start to decrease from the left side. So let me work my last stitch here, my last couple of stitches. Okay, so this is where you want to stop when you decide that your item is wide enough. When you have one unworked stitch and your end loops left over, okay? So when you get to this point, what you're going to do is you're gonna start your left side decrease. So insert your hook underneath the vertical bar, the last stitch, and then underneath both end loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now you started your decrease. And you're just gonna do a normal close. So chain one, you all the way to the end of your row. Okay, I'll see you right over here. Okay, so we're back to the beginning of the row, and we're not going to decrease on the right side. This time, we're just going to continue as we would normally. So I just finished my last stitch, and we're going to continue to increase and follow the same stitch pattern. Alright, and then when you guys get back over here, I'll lead you through the decrease. Okay. Okay, so we're down to the last few stitches once again, and let's just go through the decrease. So I'm going to make my last um, simple stitch here. I've got my one unworked stitch right here, and then my set of end loops right here. So, insert your hook underneath the last vertical bar, your last stitch, underneath both end loops, yarn over, and pull through all three. Okay, proceed with your normal close of chain one, and pull through two, all the way down. Increasing on the right side, decreasing on the left side. So once your item reaches the length now that you want, we're going to be building our item lengthwise this way, okay? Once your item gets to the length that you want, then we will start the decrease on the right side and finish up. Alright, so our item is pretty much where we want it to be, okay? Mine is the length I want because I'm going to turn it into a cowl. Okay, so what you're going to do, when you're ready for the right side decrease, that means you're ready to close your item off because it's pretty much the length that you want. So when you have one, two, three loops on your hook left, it's going to be the same basically as the left side, except instead of you know, the end loops, it's just one, two, and three on the right side. So yarn over and pull through all three. Extend your loop just a little bit. And now you have made your right side decrease. Now what's going to happen from here and why this is super cool um, is because it's going to be easy to see, you know, where you're going to place your hook. So right here, you can see we have a Tunisian simple stitch. Okay, this is a Tunisian simple stitch from this from the last row we did. And this is a purl stitch. So because what we're making our stitches in the opposite stitch each time, that's how you'll be able to tell where you're going to need or what stitch you're going to make next after each decrease on the right hand side. 
So we know that we make a purl stitch in the Tunisian symbol stitches from the row below. So that's what you're going to start out with this time. And your item should have the same pattern. If your item starts to have a different pattern, then you have made an error somewhere. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to see where it is, just like, you know, any crochet project. Okay, so proceed with your steps, okay? And I'm not going to meet you guys over here, but what I will do is I will come back over here just so you guys are clear on how to start. The, the right side decrease and what stitch goes next, okay? Okay, so we've gone ahead and made our, our second right hand decrease, or right side decrease. So the next stitch is a flat stitch or a Tunisian simple stitch. So we're gonna make a purl stitch in that stitch. Our next stitch from the row below is a purl stitch, so we're going to make a Tunisian simple stitch. Tunisian simple, Tunisian purl. So whatever stitch is below, you're going to make the opposite on the row that you're working, just like before, okay? So I hope that this is enough to lead you guys to the end. So when you have just about five uh, loops left on your hook, I'll catch up with you and we'll finish up. Okay, let's just do the last little bit to, together here. I'm gonna finish up my last stitches. And we've got our last um, end stitch and then our end loops.